Next event on the track, the 100-meter dash. Christian Coleman, the world champion, holds both the championship record and the collegiate record. Ran that time at Knoxville at home in 2017. And there is the man of the hour. He anchored his team to a win in the 4x100-meter relay. We'll see him in the 200 later. Junior Terrence Laird, who hails from Coatesville, Pennsylvania. So this weather isn't really bothering him, Dan. Well, he, he said that he was used to cold weather, but the way he started that 100 meters on Wednesday, he looked like the cold weather might have gotten to him a little bit. Really took him a while to get going. And Sean Maswagani from Houston took advantage of that and ran a spectacular 100 meters. And we get a chance to look at him. I saw him at breakfast this morning, and, and I said, it didn't look like the cold weather got to you much. And he looked at me and said, no, it's the national championships. He's ready to go. And that's why we see Terrence Laird out in lane eight, because he did not have a great time in that preliminary. But you know what? They all start and stop with the same distance in between. There is how they will line up. Devontae Burnett of USC also in this in lane seven. Mike Mackay Williams of Oregon. So athletes from each of the teams that really are alone in the race for the title. LSU and Oregon each have an athlete in this 100-meter final. Well, and the uh, crowd went crazy there because there you see the young man in the, in the Oregon uniform with the five on his hip. That's Micaiah Williams. He was second at the Pac-12 championships, but he's your 60-meter indoor champion, and he easily won his semifinal heat the other day. Put it to rest any idea that he might just be a 60 meter specialist this guy can roll over 100 meters the fastest kid that oregon has ever produced and let's not forget on the inside the fabulous freshman matthew bowling he was all high school did not get to compete outdoors last year due to covid and he has had outstanding marks and he is always a threat he had georgia in the lead in that four by 100 meter relay on the anchor and terrence laird was able to catch him. Let's see what he can do here in the 100. We will also see him later for the Bulldogs in the 200. Absolutely loaded here, though. Dwight Fanbula on the outside, Joseph Amoa from Coppin State, and don't forget about the nation's fastest runner this year, Jovan Martin from Florida State. Makai Williams with a good start. It's Williams. The crowd's going crazy. Makai Williams, can he hang on? Or Laird's going to catch him? Laird catches him! Terrence Laird got such a slow start. And at 50 meters, he was out of it. And he is now two for two for the Tigers. Laird runs 10.05 into, or with a slight trailing win. Sean Muswagani of Houston finishes second. And Makai Williams hangs on for third, so six points for Oregon, but ten big ones for LSU, which is huge because of what just happened in the hurdles with Damian Thomas getting eighth place. Well, I think there were some doubts about Terrence Laird after Wednesday's semifinal. But you get it, see in the middle of the track there, you see Terrence Laird on the outside. He's clear out in lane eight. We don't even see lane five, but Makai Williams got a fantastic start. That's what he does. But Terrence Laird, he pressed a little on the outside. About 60 meters, though, he was he was able to find his top end speed. There you see Maswagani in the red. He was trying to run down Makai Williams, but out there on the outside, it's so tough to run that race out there on the outside and not be in the mix in the middle, but that's just outstanding running and focus by Terrence Laird. 